Thanks, Goose. I think it's safe to say that Final Fantasy XV has been a long time coming. Yeah, and then some. It was first announced as Final Fantasy Versus 13. That was way, way back in 2006. In the nine years since then, it skipped an entire console generation and has since changed names to become Final Fantasy XV. Yes, that's quite a long production cycle. We're talking Duke Nukem Forever territory here. <laughs> and it's still not finished, but at least they've released a demo, which they've called Episode Duske. Let's clean it up. some real chemistry here. That's what I call teamwork. I don't know about you, but I've always found Final Fantasy pretty eclectic. I mean, it's like there's this giant blender and they're just throwing ideas in. Here's some magic, some high-tech vehicles, a lot of big monsters, a bit of sword combat, and some seriously over-the-top fashion. Might already be a lost cause. I mean, sure, it looks beautiful, but it's a real mishmash of a fantasy world. And yet the games always have similar ideas and themes. This time there's a backdrop of nations at war over some magical crystals. And you play Noctis, a prince on the run. <coughs> but I can't say much of that came through in this demo. It opens up with you and your buddies waking up in a tent really slowly. Rise and shine, princess. And then they start talking about how they need to get their car fixed. We hawk whatever we hunt till we come up with the cash, then fetch the car. Hex, these guys don't look like war heroes to me. They look more like they're from an 80s goth band. And why do they even need a car? The game shows us they can teleport. Drive, teleport? I know what I'd pick. <laughs> well, I don't think we should worry about the plot too much at this point. With a game as epic as Final Fantasy, I think it's always hard to carve out a demo and have it make much sense. Fair enough. They do have fabulous hair, though. Aren't we lucky? Well, something I do think that makes a lot of sense is the switch to an open world. The days of being funneled down a narrow path and stumbling into random encounters are well and truly gone. A bit like Final Fantasy XII, you can spot enemies off in the distance and make up your own mind about whether you want to fight them or just run away. Is uh, anybody else feeling a little out of their league? Just don't let your guard down. Enemies also have an awareness meter that's shown as a red bar. In theory, you've got until the bar fills to decide whether or not to engage. But that only really worked for me when I already knew where the enemies were. Anytime I had to stop and look around for the enemies, the fight would begin by the time I'd found them. I'm going all out. Just hey. I noticed that too. I think some sort of on-screen minimap could have helped with that disorientation. But on balance, I prefer having a minimal HUD. Stay sharp. This game also makes the move to a completely real-time combat system. While it is a shame to lose some of that semi-turn-based strategy, I think full-blown, real-time combat works for a world like this. Yeah, I tend to agree. I think it just makes for a refreshing change for a Final Fantasy game to do this. And I liked how you can cover distance quickly with warp attacks and then carve away with those flashy sword strikes. I think there's a bit too much spamming of the attack button, but I do like some of the details they put in. Timing comes into play with the counters, and I like the heavy attacks that put enemies off balance and make them more vulnerable. <laughs> It feels good to be back at work, yeah. And what about that summon hex? Wow, yes. I mean, Final Fantasy summons have always been something special, but this was just, like, a whole other level. Ah! Walking around the charred aftermath, I almost felt sorry for the enemies I'd used it on. Oh, poor doggies. It's glorious overkill, isn't it? I hope they're all as epic as this. Yeah, absolutely. Just knowing they're going to make real use of that new console hardware to sweep us up in those spells, it just it has me genuinely excited. I think it's safe to say that a few years ago, Final Fantasy as a series was in trouble. 13 was quite underwhelming, and the first MMO release of 14, it was just broken. Square Enix did go back to the drawing board, however, and rebuilt 14 into quite a good MMO. And now it seems like they're embracing loads of new ideas in 15. I'm just so happy to be excited about Final Fantasy again, and I'm keen to see how this plays out. Yes, well, hopefully, it's worth the wait. We need only concern ourselves with one thing and one thing alone. The money.